morning, ma'am. Well, good morning, sir. Have you come to arrange for a holiday, or would you just like one of our special holidays? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry? <laughs> oh, you come to arrange for a holiday? Yeah. Well, you're going to have to pick that up with Mr. Bounder. Mr. Bounder, this man is interested in the special holiday and nowhere else. Very well then. Hello, I'm bound to have a picture. It's about too much. What? It's about too much. Well, you better cut down a little bit. Sorry? It's not too much. You better cut down a little bit. No! Yes. I see, I see. Scarf? Too much? Yes. I better cut down a little bit. I suppose you get people making jokes about your name all the time. No? I actually never hit me before. Smoke? Too much. <laughs> yes, sir, it's quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you're interested in the India Open. Ah, yes, yes. Well, you see, I saw your advert in the Classified X. The what? The Times Classified X. The Times Classified X. Oh, yes. I have a speech impediment. I'm afraid I can't pronounce the letter B. C. Yes, that's right. B. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do to control my social analysis? Cool boy. Ah, a Siamese cat. No, I'm the I see. Listen, can you pronounce the letter? K. Oh yes, yes. Kind, Kendall, Kimber, Kuwait, Kipling, Keep of Bon Justin, New York, Born Flight. Well, why don't you pronounce the letter K instead of the letter C? What do you pronounce? Classified. Okay. Yes? <coughs> Classified. Jolly good, sir. But, I never thought of that before. <laughs> what a silly but. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you're interested in one of my adventure holidays, right, sir? Oh, yes, you see. I've been on package chores many times before, so you haven't really bought my eye. Yes, yes, I mean, what's the point of going abroad if you're just going to be treated like another tourist, right? Indubitably, sir. Carted around in buses, surrounded by a Sweaty money soaks from catering and country. Of course. With their cloth caps and their cardigans and their transistor radios and their Sunday mirrors complaining about the tea. Have they done making properly here, do they? <laughs> of course not, sir. Yeah. And being heard into countless Majorican bodegas selling fish and chips and two million and calamari, squirting Timothy White sun cream all over the puffy walls, throwing permanent faces because they ever did it on the first day. Yeah. Yes, sir, yes, sir. And stopping at this hotel near miles and begging us and gunting into the modern international luxury group beds. Yes, sir. And then pulling into a draft red belt, fat, jammy business never came to be acrobats, and all the heroes, frightening the children. Of course. The argument of the cues that if you don't like your table's more on seven, you miss your bottle of camel's cream and mushroom soup. The first item on the menu of international cuisine. Yes, sir. And every Thursday, I have some bloody cabaret in the bar, featuring some amazing empty day of nine inch hips. And some fat tart with the hair on pre cream down and a big ass presenting flamenco for foreigners. Yes, sir. <laughs> 99 old hypers from Birmingham. Love your wife, Nature's diarrhea. Trying to pick up Harry Bundy legged. <laughs> My win. Well, once a week, let's go to the local Ronald Remains where you can buy cherry egg, minted ice cream, and Watney's Red Barrel. So they take you to a restaurant, local atmosphere and colour, and you end up singing to a party of people from Torremolinos. So keep singing. I love the coast of Rome. Shut up. I love the coast of Rome. Oh, I'm down, sir. And you can call up by some drunken green person from Renewton with an instamatic camera last Tuesday's Daily Express, and he just drank Oh, we 